Yeah, hey, good morning, you guys. I Like you with said, Lindsay, I grew up coming here. So many people that grew up in Eastern Jackson County, this was their drive-in theater. So when they announced that they were going to be closing the B&B theater this upcoming weekend, a lot of outpouring of support on social media. This was my favorite way to watch a drive-in movie in the back of my parents' pickup truck. I actually went, this is my parents' pickup truck. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for letting me borrow it. I spoke with uh, the general manager here at Twin Drive-In about the nostalgia and the memories that she holds about the drive-in. This is where the magic begins. Since 1965, the Twin Drive-In has brought the magic of the movies to Eastern Jackson County. Ask Independence resident Candy Combs about that magic. She's been experiencing it since she was a toddler. I started coming here um, when I was three. My parents came on their first date here. Um, and being able to sit out and watch the movies and get lost in the big screen and you could daydream and as long as we did everything good whether it was our chores or schoolwork and this was the best treat. Combs now works what she says is her dream job as the general manager. Trusty popcorn, gotta always have popcorn. She's preparing to close down the drive-in theater on November 17th. The theater made it through COVID but the rent demands is what B&B Theater says broke the camel's back. After the news broke, Combs said the support was outstanding, selling out last weekend showings. It was good seeing all the cars and hearing memories. It was sad because you're hearing the memories, but it's joyful that you were still be able to create a final memory and people were having a great time. Combs says the nostalgia of the drive-in movie allows families to bond and put the small screens down for the silver screen. It's going to be a nostalgia that, that unfortunately is going away. And soon that's all that will be left. White screens and broken speakers and the memories of so many moviegoers. Luckily, I live out in Independence, so I'll be able to drive by and still smile. Uh, so this weekend are the final showings here at the drive-in theater. The info's online and social media, but if you're listening, they're doing a double feature of Goonies and Jurassic Park or National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation and Elf. The final day is Sunday. They do ask that you buy your tickets online if you can. That ensures your spot at the drive-in in case they sell out. Back to you guys. I'm like feeling like I got to take my kids this weekend because otherwise they're not going to go. Elf, are you kidding? Oh my goodness. I so many things to say about this. Claire, what about the staff? I mean, she's so lovely. Yeah. Right, and they call themselves a family here, not even staff. She kept correcting herself and saying, I'm talking about my staff, actually. So they will not lose their jobs, thankfully. B&B is going to place them at different theaters throughout the Kansas City area. That's what they would do in the off season anyway, would be work here in the uh, summer and then go to an indoor movie theater in the winter because it's a little chilly out here this morning, you guys. I don't think you want to watch a movie just yet. Claire, can you even, like, that concession stand has not changed an iota since my childhood. I love seeing it. No, it hasn't. And she said that that's the point. They want to keep that nostalgia there. They want to take you back to 1965 when you come to the drive-in. <laughs> Bittersweet. Thank you. Really, really cool moment. All right, thanks, Claire.